Welcome to Contower. In this video, I am going to show you a new order type called Local OCOP. Uh, this particular order type is available uh, within the order placing strategies and the name is called LOCOP and helps us to place bracket orders or stop loss and take profit orders on the entire position even if your broker do not offer these functionalities. Before I get into this, I would like to show you the parameters of it. So what you can set for this particular in, uh, in, uh, order placing strategy. So when you click on this, you get a setting option. And in this setting, you have the option of order price specification based on percentage or points. So depending on what product you trade, you can decide this particular uh, option. So if I'm trading options, I would probably uh, prefer to do percentage and uh, the stop loss I can specify as 10% or uh, and take profit as 10%. I can do whatever changes that I want to. So now that I've set the uh, settings for this particular order type, uh, let me go and place some orders first and then put the local stop OCOP order. So let's see how you can do this. Uh, in Right now I have one position in this particular symbol uh, where I have one trade uh, with one position at a particular price of 186.60. So now if I want to add a local OCOP order for this, so I can select local OCOP. You can look at the parameters here. I'm putting percentage of 10% each. So the moment I click on low order placing strategies and I select market, it will place the order at 10% from the time I place the order. So it takes the price at the time when I click the order for local OCOP as the base price for calculating the stop loss and take profit. So if it was somewhere on 178, from 178 it takes the 10% above and 10% lower and it places the order so i can modify this order if i want to i can increase or decrease wherever i want this particular order so i have a stop loss here and a take profit here now what happens so if i want to add more positions i go back again to none and place one more buy order so i have two lots now and uh, what you can also see that my stop loss and take profit orders as a quantity two lots so the quantity uh, two lots uh, stop loss at 159.45 and uh, take profit at 216.80 so if i want to increase my stop loss i can do that i can keep adjusting my stop loss as in when the price goes up or if i want to reduce my take profit i can do that as well so let's assume that i did one trade just now at uh, 186.60 and 179.95 uh, let the price go up a little bit uh, maybe we uh, so now the price has gone up I'm making some money in this particular trade so I can click at market so what will happen is the, my stop loss and take profit quantities will reduce automatically so this way I entered this but second trade at 179.95 exited at 186.10 if the price comes down I can buy more again so let's say I want to buy at market so now I have a trade at 185.50 and my quantity for stop loss and take profit is increased to two lots so in the meantime what I can also do is I can place a, a sell limit order as well so in case if I want to place a sell limit order I can do that but bear in mind if you do not have sufficient margin uh, because this sell limit order will be on the exchange so it will automatically consume the margin so instead better you can look at placing the orders at market itself or placing an order at bid or ask so currently the price is at 187.25 so what i can do is i will exit this trade at market so now the quantity is reduced to one lot each so if the price comes down again i can keep entering exiting so i can do good scalping here with this particular orders so I can just buy at market now the next trade is at bought at 97 87.90 now price is at so if the price comes down I will buy more so now I have another trade at 185.8550 I bought one more trade at 184 if the price comes down I can add more trades 
So now I have five lots open and uh, I have a stop loss and take profit already placed for this. So now the last trade that I entered was at 181.1. Okay, I can continue to add more trades. If I want to reduce my stop loss, I can reduce it. So as I add my trades, you can see my quantity for the stop loss and take profit increases. So I have some trades at 171, three lots and 172. So now the price is at 174. I can exit this trade. So now I exited those trades that I did at these levels. I increased my stop loss to the recent low. And now my trade average is 179. So let's see if the market goes up. So let me exit one trade. Now as you can see the price is going up so I can keep exiting my trades. So now I have only three lots left. So if I want to reduce my take profit level to this, I can do that. So my stop loss is at 180, 68.45 and take profit at 188.60. Let's see what happens if the price touches that level. If I want, in the meantime, if I want to add more trades, I can do that. So my quantity will increase to four. So the price is coming down again. So I can more add more trades. I can even place an exit at bid price. So I can do that. There are good chances that it will exit at the good price. So market is coming down again. So I'll add more trades. So I'll exit one more trade. So I have lesser positions. So let's say I will reduce my take profit slightly lower. Let's say I just want to show that how the order gets cancelled on the other side. I can continue to scalp within this particular ring that I want to with one or two points. If my break even is very low, I can do that. So now you can see the price is very close to my exit price and the price touched the exit price. This way you can see when one leg got executed, the other leg got cancel automatically. You can use this order type if you want to do quick scalping as well as if your broker is not offering uh, any bracket order or cover orders functionalities for any specific segment. Remember this is a local order and will only work if your system is connected to the broker. If your broker connection is disconnected this order will automatically cancel and you must place this order again on reconnection. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.